It's Madden NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Falcons and the Lions. All that and more coming up next. First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today it's week three, and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Falcons, they were losing. teams here each looking to move over 500 and we're underway here in week three Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out and the decision to bring it out not a good one as he's tackled at the 15 so here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time they'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days it's the versatile Jalen Hurts would you say that last week's performance by him workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers one touchdown one pick but obviously a loss yeah and that's the bottom line for him all he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free and now a throw on first down there but it's incomplete no sense risking anything there on first down even though he's still in the pocket he had a receiver out to his side so just put that in a spot where the only people could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches well done a little juke and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped 15 yards first down atlanta for a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. But first down, Hurts. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a yard. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Hurts sets up to throw it. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Hurts. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Devin White defeating the offensive line and getting to the quarterback. These sacks are really piling up. Last week, it was a half dozen sacks. And here's one on the opening drive. And it has the potential to be what we call a gap, a game-altering play. Because, let's face it, you just mentioned six sacks last week. Now, if you're an offense and you saw that on tape, you've got to think to yourself, maybe I bring people in, keep them in, and try and protect my quarterback. It didn't work on that play. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Now the NFL's leading rusher in 2021, Jonathan Taylor. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Second and ten. They go to the ground again with Taylor. He can't get him down. And the stiff arm proved fruitful for a second, but the daylight quickly snuffed out. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, here's Richardson. And the 
throw there going to be incomplete. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. Got to shake that off and get going. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. It's taken to the 26. Call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? A good pick up there, a 22. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. Now left side of the swing pass. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Let's see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Hurts. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there. Deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And now the punter, Tressway, as he sends this one away. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he'll get this to the 32. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 22 carries, 77 yards. And I'm eager to see how they deploy him in this game. Last week, a heavy workload. Do they decide to bring that down a little bit and try and keep him fresh? Or do they say, guess what? He's locked in. Keep handing him the football. And this one's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Richardson shotgun on third down. Throw taken in by Taylor left side. And they call it a loss of a yard there. And it'll be fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. We'll call that a 49-yard punt, but a net of just 39 following the 10-yard return. And it will be Falcon football. Play action. Here's Hertz. That one complete down the field to Smith. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That's good for 28 yards. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Pollard will take it up the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Taken down on the play by Aiden Hutchinson. Here's second and ten. They go play action with Hurts. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Right where this set of down started. They need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. 
Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 33. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Here's a second and eight. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Oh, into a sea of defenders have intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Lions are going to get the football back at their own 17. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Second and eight coming from the 19. Again, it's Taylor. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 11 yards there and a line first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Now a second and ten. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Five yards, now it's third and five. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks as they've got it with a third down coming up. A right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. That's not one that he's going to want to remember, but he had to get it out of the way at some point, his first career interception. And if he's the guy that they think he is, he's not laughing it off but he's also not going to let it affect him as the game proceeds. He's going to go back out there, still be the same confident kid, the reason that they drafted him, and go out and play. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and 10. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Now second and nine. Here's Hurts to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes. Was that to Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Throwing his Hurts. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll look to throw here. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Second and goal from inside the five. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. A great effort there. 
His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Falcons post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. And boy, that was a heavy set. I think they had three tight ends out there. The fullback, they just, you knew what they were going to do. Yeah, they weren't trying to fool anybody at all, were they? There was none of this show you heavy set, bootleg it out. Nah, nah, nah. Big guys up front, hand it to the big guy in the backfield. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. So out now come the Lions. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. First and 10, Taylor now. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. First and ten at the 28 yard line. Now Richardson. Short throw caught by the tight end Oliver. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Now it's Richardson. And that is incomplete on oh, the coverage. A little too good there. And it's second down. Second and 10. Back to the air with Richardson. This one caught by his tight end, Oliver. And getting this just shy of midfield. will spot him at the 49. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Well, there's a new man here under center. What do you think they saw to acquire him, Charles? I think they went back to their old scouting reports because those never go away. And I think that they liked him when he was coming out of school. Didn't have the opportunity to get him. But now with this opportunity, they think they can get him back to his former level. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Richardson looking to throw this. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. Well, it was too far for a field goal try. You don't really gain a whole lot out of a punt, so I don't think you have much of a problem with that, do you? No, not at all. I think it's the right play, the exact right play, because even if you want to play defense and pin them deep, you know how hard it is for a punter to, to knock one dead inside the 10-yard line. That's not, uh, that's not necessarily easily done, so I think going for it there was the right call. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. On second down, it's Potter. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Looking to throw, and he is caught. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. He'll look to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. They're going to look to throw. This pass hauled in by Dotson. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to 
take a peek and we'll take a break. The offense on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. Hurts sets up to throw it. This is Smith with a grab. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Second down. Here's Hurts. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlines, but incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Touchdown, Falcons! T.J. Hawkinson, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Three weeks, three touchdowns. It's obvious they've looked his way early and often in the red zone this year. And that's usually a pretty good place to find a tight end in the NFL. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbairn. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was T.J. Hawkinson who finished the drive with a touchdown reception. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. On second down, it's Taylor. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 50 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Richardson looking to throw. Open man right side is Sharp. The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. And Richardson back to throw it. He'll drop this down to Taylor. Only able to gain a couple there. And this will wind up being a third and three. Play action. Now Richardson. And Pascal's got it. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Back to the air with Richardson. Middle of the field, he finds Pascal. Touchdown! Zach Pascal, a 20 yard touchdown. And the Lions are back within a score. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown interception ratio is what? Three to one for the best quarterbacks? But he's a rookie. Just getting back to even is a big deal. Increases the confidence his teammates have in him 
as he tries to become their leader. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. Barrios now from his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. This offense ready for their upcoming series as we get a look at the former Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in his zone here and call it a day because otherwise, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Hurts. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Here's second and ten now from the 35. They'll look to throw again. Incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions are first and second down. They can worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. On third down, it's Pollard. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as he'll stop him well short of the yellow line. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This will be fielded at the 17. Here comes Jonathan Taylor and his teammates. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. Credit that to the former Georgia Bulldog, Aziz Ojolari getting in there to bring him down. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. A final shot before the half, Richardson. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to it. We'll begin up at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. And it's the Packers who are out in front in the second quarter. Ezekiel Elliott over 100 yards rushing with a touchdown run. From there, it's off to the land to check on the Browns at home in the dog pound. And you can see they have the lead over the visiting Tennessee Titans. Brock Purdy, four touchdown passes. Lastly, let's head up to the Twin Cities to check in on the Vikings at home in Minneapolis. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Alan Lazar, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side to play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. 
And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Third and three. Richardson on third and short. They're trying to find Chark, but it's intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Well, I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already, and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. So here are the Falcons to take over on offense. They were losers to the Packers a week ago, but they've got the lead right now here as they come up on a first and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. Looking for Dotson, and he's got him. Touchdown, Falcons! Jahan Dotson, 44 yards. And the Falcons are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes, and while this game is far from over, I love their approach. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. Atlanta's 11 ready to go and they kick it away this taken in at the goal line now they can't bring him down running room at the 50 look out he might score he will score touchdown Lions special teams coaches they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do and others have egos that their players can't keep up with and they say challenge him kick it to him the way he runs as fast as he is i wouldn't challenge him at all i do everything possible to keep it away he is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there tucker with the extra point and they're back within a touchdown at 21 14. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. Jahan Dotson getting set for this next drive. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Play action. Here's Hurts. Coming across the field, he finds Dotson. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A gain there of 21 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They'll run left with Pollard. There he goes, left side. Down the left sideline. And he's all the way down to the 13-yard line. 75 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing his hurts. Swinging this out for Pollard. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 
Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up second down. He'll drop to throw. Touchdown, Falcons! T.J. Hawkinson, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game as his guys are able to extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was T.J. Hawkinson who finished the drive with a touchdown reception. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Detroit's offense ready to take over. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. From the 23, here's a second and five. Richardson to throw off play action. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now it's Richardson. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Jahan Dotson getting set for this next drive. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but... Hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it down right now. Yeah, he's looking really, really sharp. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively. The blank of those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench. Not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now left side on the swing pass. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Richardson working from the gun. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Lions first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. 
certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game and there he picks up another first down whatever they saw going into this one they've been able to capitalize on it and no adjustment has been made to take it away and Richardson looks to throw once more and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. 62 yards on the ground for him so far. They'll come up now, third and three. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. If these guys going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage to be found. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. He's been terrific so far. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now a give here to Pollard. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. Third and 19. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. Every team has plays in their book to try and buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. And we'll see what he can do on the return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, he's intercepted again. It's Richardson's third of the game. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Falcons are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became... So the drive's going to start with Pollard. Got a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I loved one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. And this will be a gain of about 8 to the 27-yard line. Ball on the 27. Here's second and a couple. Play fake. Here's Rush. 
This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Second and short. That's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Pollard is not going to get a whole lot. Maybe a yard down to the three. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. Pollard one more time. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So a little extra time to ponder this third and goal as we play three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Out of the shotgun, Rush. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Jahan Dotson with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Falcons look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. He made sure to let his quarterback know. Just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because... They're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. They'll throw on first down with Taylor. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now Taylor on first down. Short throw caught by the tight end, Oliver. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Throwing now, Taylor on first down. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. That one good for seven as this long drive continues, and the chains move again. A give for Taylor, running right side. Down to about the 23. We've called a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves... And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, his first rushing touchdown on the year. And the Lions have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, 
And they've got a puncher's chance. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And this offense on third down today, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This will be third and six. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Taylor. Oh, he stays up and shedding the tackle and now some room. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. From the gun, it's Taylor. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. On third down, Taylor. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Falcons are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. First down now for Rush. That's dumped off to Pollard. So he'll be stopped here for no gain, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 46-yard line. Back to throw, Rush. Smith brings it in, going across the middle. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Here's third and three. Throwing here, Rush. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That'll put him close to 100 yards receiving. He's at 98, and he's got a first down. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. And credit the tackle to Taco. Taco Charlton with a stop. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. 
So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. That is caught. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. But forget knowing where the first down line was. His defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. They're going for it. Rush. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. So now the Lions down by 12. A little over 20 seconds to go. Now Taylor, now the fourth down stop, the first of a series of events that will need to break their way, but bottom line, they're still alive. But that to the sideline and incomplete. Boy, they're going to say there's a receiver in the area. That was close to grounding, but it's second down. Taylor. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. One last shot for Taylor. He's got Claypool. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles. But in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear. And they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for the Falcons, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 and one now on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. Meanwhile, for Detroit, they'll fall to one and two. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.